What's up, folks? This is the Savage Scientist Ed. And today, I have an unboxing. So, this is the item I'm unboxing. That's right. This is kind of like a tech channel. So, I'm unboxing my certification from ISC Square. This is what the welcome kit looks like. And this certification took a lot of time and dedication. My my job paid for this. I about to say my company, but yeah, I guess my company paid for it. So this is, this is it. So I got the CSSLP. That's the certified C certified security software lifecycle professional. I think that's what that stands for, but when I unbox this thing and, and look at the certification, you'll know what it stands for. So it's time for me to unbox this, right? That's what you came here to see. So this is it. CSSLP. Unboxing time. So I'm about to go get the SKFF so we can get this thing unboxed. So I'm back here with the SKFF. I haven't unboxed things in a long time on my channel. So it's time to... to Oh, look at it already done, already done got into the box without without having to do any destruction. All right, stuff falling all on the ground. All right, so. So, it's unboxed now. And the actual certification fell on the floor. So, this is what it looks like. Yeah, this is CSSLP certification that the savage scientist done got here. And whenever you look at the, the online version of it, it doesn't have this ANC, it doesn't have this original ANSI logo on here. It's a different one. It, it looks a little different, but this is it. This is what I worked hard for. And the certification kit also come with all this other stuff. Let's see. So we have the CSSLP pin. So if it's your goal to get this um, welcome crap, um, stay tuned all this my ISC Square stuff. I cover more so of the details. And this is it. This is, this is everything it comes with. Certification. It's a pretty and nice. More code and content is coming. Um, so stay tuned. Pack of the crap. So it's the savage science. That's it. Ed, so the governor of the great state of Swamp. Holding over the damn until SK I make my there. next video. Get your ass out the way. So peace out. So. I'm about to put this thing in a frame and it's gonna go on a collection of certifications up there, over there in the corner. So we're gonna set that right, we're gonna set that right here. So number one, I got two books. I got access to the CSSLP all-in-one 400 something page book. And then I got the official CSSLP book that contains quite a few errors. So I went back and forth between these two books for about three months. And then I moved on to the five day course that pretty much gave me the answers to the test. Okay, so you know that was a joke. No one is gonna post answers to a $700 ISC squared exam and get away with it. So as I mentioned earlier, the two books, the um, the um, official ISC Square book and the big brown looking book, those two books are great resources and it covered the same material that was covered in the boot camp. And I think I probably could have passed the test after reading the books many times, but the boot camp gave me the final confidence to go and pass the test. And the way it was presented in the boot camp was streamlined and efficient. So. I recommend the boot camp. Now let's put prices on all this stuff. So the Brown book and the official ISC Square book. This was $75. And ignore where it says Cybex up there on the screen. I was still thinking CISSP. And the Pluralsight course was about $20. Between that and LinkedIn, this was very expensive, but it came with the test voucher and together the test and the, 
the test and the cost came up to about $4,500. So we're looking at about $4,600. That's expensive, but let's take a look at that. what it's like to have the, CI, the CSSLP. Most people with this certification make about $116,000. So the money is there if you take the time to get this certification. So let's take a look at something else. CSSLP. So this is Pluralsight. This is the people who had a real good course on, on the CSSLP. It was a, it was an online course, but here are the domains or the areas that the test covers. Secure software concepts, software requirements, and secure software architecture and design, secure software implementation, secure software testing, secure software lifecycle management, secure software deployment operations and maintenance, and secure software supply chain. All this stuff was covered in one test and it, this test also overlapped with some of the requirements for the CISSP. So if you're planning on getting the CISSP, then this exam or, or having this certification will make it a little bit easier for you. So this is the certification that I wanted, one I've been trying to get, but just never had the money to pay for it. My company paid for it. This is a cybersecurity certification in, in this it's not the OSCP or it's not the CISSP, but this is a developer's certification. And the goal here is to be able to recognize and write most secure software. So if it's your goal to get this certification, then stay tuned to my channel as I cover more of the details and the coding requirements to get this certification and more coding content is coming. So stay tuned. This is the Savage Scientist Ed, the governor of the great state of Swampland. And until I make my next video, peace out.